Hi, it's Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. I am Phil and I'm joined as always with Paul on the couch. So we're going to get into the biggest talking points from this weekend's Premier League action. I suppose uh, breaking news, Slaban Bilic, bye bye. Yeah, well, justifiably so. Um, I did say on Saturday after the game, when I sent out a tweet going, I think the writing's on the wall for Bilic after the game. He looked dejected, the players looked dejected, and I was watching West Ham fan TV, and they all wanted to know. And yeah. They, they were actually calling for Koeman to come in, which is bizarre, but that's, that's who they want to come in and replace him now. Mm -hmm. I mean, realistically, what were they expecting against Liverpool? Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it's it's not really going to be. It's not the greatest game to go into to sit, try and save your job, like is yeah. it? Um, a lot of West Ham fans seem to be. They seem to have the impression that it maybe should have happened twelve months ago as well. Um, to, he's there on borrowed time. I think. Well, I think it, it, he got more time because of the whole Poya thing, and uh, because he basically put the club ahead of Poya, and he didn't let the uh, Poya really. Yeah, he, he kind of, kind of, put, he kind of uh, endeared himself to the fans. Yeah, he? whereas, you know, I don't think if they had got beaten by Spurs but Luis go when they beat them, yeah. I think it was three two. I think he would have been gone then, and I think that gave him an extra couple of weeks. Yeah, and uh, now justifiably so, he's he's been sacked, and you know he's not a bad manager. I just I don't think no. the players were up to. Well, it. yeah, people kind of people kind of forget the the success he had with the Croatian national team, and he always he seemed to be. This as well, doesn't he? Pesiktas he did well too he, he, he always seemed to be a manager who could get players on his side he seemed to be like you know a player type of manager he seems a bit too nice I'd say I'd say he yeah I'd say he's the type of guy all the criticism is on him and he won't he won't blame his players yeah. because like Creswell came out after the game and was like the players are behind them but I think they knew that he was gone and the way he was speaking in the press conference I'd say he knew like yeah, um, and as well as that, you look at some players he signed, uh, Aaron Outovich, are you or not? They're very selfish players. Yeah, so. seems to be. Like, um, I suppose, uh, I think, by all accounts, the big the manager linked is David Moyes with Phil Neville as a number two. Seem, know, seem to be the one. bookie's favourite, but yeah, David Moyes, like, he seems to be a bit of a laughing stock now. But He's a good manager. He could, he he could get in there, keep, yeah, he could get in there and kind of... Keep everything organised and stuff like that. He knows the Premier League, but I think he hasn't been in the Premier League in about four years, I think now. Four, maybe four, maybe five. You know what fans tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but, or the Sunderland fans, sorry, he was in two years. Like, last yeah, year. No, he was, last yeah, year. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot all about it because he was that bad. Um, but, I mean, Sunderland are a lot worse than. Uh, the West Ham squad that are there now. They were last year anyway, yeah. so well, if he if he could come in there and kinda if he could get the players on his side, just give it one last push, but I think I think they're doomed anyway. But I suppose you get into some of the action, um Mo Salah, absolutely on fire. Six goals in his last five, uh, brings him to twelve in all competitions now. Yeah, he's he's, he's looking like he could be the signing of the summer. I I actually yeah, I I put him up there. With so probably the sign of the season. Yeah, but he's definitely yeah. up there. There's, there's there's two or three as well. Yeah. With Morata and stuff like that. And Kalazanak. Kalazanak. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. He he just he his pace is absolutely outstanding. Like, uh, obviously West Ham set up to kind of to press Liverpool, cut off the space, but Mane and Salah just from the first whistle stretched them. And those two just look like they love playing together. They have so much fun playing together. Yeah. And, what is it? Eight goals in eight goals in their last two games. Yeah, away they scored a lot of goals, even though they don't have a recognised striker. The only problem is they're not showing sure up really at the back, and they did have a kind of uh, a close call. I would say when uh, West Ham did score, they went down the other end and scored, though, so they were all right. But yeah. they look a bit shaky. <laughs> Tiff for tat, yeah. yeah. Um, we move on to the next game, don't we? Yes. Yeah, so good, good result for Liverpool. Well done. Yeah, well done. Meh, was a back to back win since August, so happy days. So, next up, we have Chelsea and uh, Man United. We get in trouble when we talk about Man United. Uh, one thing I, one thing I kind of have to say can United offer something 
that will like make us say nice things about them so we don't come across as biased because they they offered nothing against Chelsea. Yeah, well it's the same thing when they when they go up against um, a bigger side in the league, they uh, they go very defensive and they leave Lukaku very isolated. And as much stick as Lukaku gets and, and I would give him stick, but I would also give him credit when he when he does well. But that's why I don't think he, he's one of the best strike or a world class striker. Uh, well, because the big game narrative, uh, well, the narrative he goes missing in big games is it's you know he's not he's not doing anything to change it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but at the same time, like he mm. did, he did, he did get an assist last week against Spurs. Yeah, so he did yeah. make a, a, a change in the game. Then, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not like he's he's, he's completely non-existent, but um, he doesn't get the support. It was the same with Everton last year. He do, when he doesn't get the support, he goes around wandering with the arms flailing and moaning at everybody around him. And this just this is just in his nature. So yeah, I think you know, Pogba was a big miss. Yeah, I think Pog was a big miss for him. People well, forget. Yeah. People forget that you know without him in in the midfield as well. Yeah, yeah. And you know most teams are going to struggle without their their arguably their best midfielder. Matches is probably the best midfielder, but yeah. he goes under the radar. I think kind of Pogba being out of the team, it's making Mkhitaryan well. It's kind of forcing Mkhitaryan to do a bit more defensive work, and I don't think he likes it. I think he liked kind of having a freer role when Pogba was in yeah. and it's kind of showing how uh, essential Pogba is in that midfield like they started off and they were they were brushing teams aside now obviously not a big team but it just shows like you take them out and they're, they're kind of they're, they're struggling to cope yeah um, definitely and but now let's, let's, let's on, a, on a more positive note let's talk about Morata's goal and how much of a hard on Steve's going to have as Pilaqueta for the assist he, oh, I just, yeah. he, he has again. this un, like unbelievable understanding with uh, Morata asking a question. <laughs> and it's like Morata has a magnet on his yeah, head. Yeah, he's just like whip it in. I was some header though. I mean, it says it all if De Gea is left standing there. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, he was right in the yeah. corner. Nothing, nothing he could do about it. Like, great service. Um, he right, was up for Conte. He's been under a lot of stick recently. Yeah, well. Kind of, you could say for a bit it was it was justified. Enough. Yeah, they look, yeah, yeah. They did look. Uh, they did look like the, when teams put it up to them, they were kind of cowering. But he, he seems to have balanced out the team. I think Aspicueta is huge for them. Zapacosta as well. They seem a lot more. He's very good. They seem a lot more kind of composed with him and the team, and they play the ball out from the back a bit better. Um, but yeah, happy days for Chelsea. Um, yeah, and especially after you know you're getting the results at Spurs last week, it's just <laughs> the title race is now. It's frustrating for United fans, isn't it? Uh, like you yeah, well, one week, yeah, yeah, a bit of a bit because of, that bit point against Liverpool where they were yeah. getting stick about for parking the bus actually t- looked like it was actually a good point, considering like you look at how far on all centers, uh, far on all centers Liverpool are, um, and United shut them out completely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I suppose we'll move on to. Uh, Spurs and Alice one nil song after sixty four minutes. Uh, Palace looked Palace looked fairly decent. Um, they started with Saha and Townsend on the the top of the front two. Um, I suppose Sacco would be the standout player. He kind of he kind of marked Harry Kane out of the game in the first half. He's a weird player, isn't he? <laughs> just he's just like what I mean. Weird is. You can have days where he's world class, and you know you can have brilliant games, and then as you've seen, probably at Liverpool more so because he was more under under the spotlight. Yeah, yeah. He was uh, found out a lot of the time, you know. So he's a bit of a weird player. Sorry for playing footsie with you there. Um, yeah, that's alright. But I mean, you look at it, Palace. I'm watching Everton all season, and Palace on. Um, Match day against the uh, Spurs. They look. They what they were doing was better than what Everton have done all season. Yeah, they were playing far better football. Yeah, and well, well, the the biggest Zaha should have scored. Yeah, yeah, no, he missed. Yeah, he missed the sitter. Um, the biggest thing as far as Hodgson has done, he shored up the defense. They were leaking. Yeah, he was always going to do that though. Wasn't yeah, he, so. and like as much stick as he gets, he seems to have. He seems to kind of have them playing a certain way, and they they all look like they're playing for him. Um, it was a great performance away from home. It might give them the honest to kind of like. I think Palace might. I think they might be another down team like West Ham. But you know, 
coming up to Christmas, if they can give a push before Christmas, try to get out of the yeah. bottom tree. You never know. We're kind of talking about every week on, oh, they might come up or they, they yeah, might they get might a result. Do Soon yeah. enough, it's going to be a case where they have to get a result. You well, they, I mean? they need to stop trying to get performances out with the big teams and start taking points from the people yeah, around, around them, which yeah. they don't seem to be getting the results from as well. Um, the goal itself, it was, even, it was very well taken. It was a class goal. Great finish. It's Song again. What, Nobody even speaks about him. That's all the headlines of Harry Kane, but Song quietly does his job, gets his goals, he looks brilliant. And this is from Arsenal. Awesome yeah, well, I, Jesus, I, I'm being complimentary as far as every week. Like, I don't know what's happening. Kind of have to be. You, you, can't, you can't really mock them there. Uh, well, well there that. you go. Bias, credit where credit's due. Yeah, and I've gave Liverpool credit at the start. <laughs> but, uh, United against uh, Spurs. Yeah, but Spurs, Spurs weren't great by any stretch of the imagination like obviously they were missing a few players uh, Lloris big one Alavil um, and there was someone else missing as well but you know a few, a few they players. have a good enough squad that they, they do they, they do they, they, should, they, they have a bit be, of depth. the only person that they should be crying about when they when he doesn't play is Kane because yeah. Saul can still do a job there I think you know well, maybe if uh, Kane was playing against United the result might have been a bit different too yeah, yeah. But yeah, anyway, there's not really much to say about that game. Uh, you know, well done Spurs. Good win, a good, a good win. They're back on on track. And yeah. So I suppose we have to move on to the other Sunday game, do we? What's that now? There's Man City and Arsenal. Did you want? What do you want to? Do you want to talk to me about that? It was. A, yeah. <laughs> do you want to give me? Um, what did I, you think? From the outside looking in, uh, I was shocked. Lacazette was on the bench for one of the biggest games of the season. You surely you buy a fifty-three million pound player for the big games. Surely, so that would be the. Uh, That's one. That would, that would be what you would think anyway. Yeah, for any normal person, but then you kind of look at it and. What was it? With with City though, like, I wasn't expecting this to win. Like no. I, I was expecting by by how much, but in all fairness, um, I thought. Uh, who scored the first goal? The first goal was. Yeah, over here. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Sorry. Yeah, well, that, was actually, that was a lovely. That was a lovely goal. Yeah. And anyway, it was a lot of people are blaming Czech on that. I yeah, I he came I, through Koscielny's legs. He's like, well, it was just one of them. Well, he stood off, and Koscielny, Koscielny, I don't know what Koscielny did. Koscielny tried to block it or something. But Koscielny should have shown him the line, which he didn't do. Well, he shot him onto his left foot. So, but, yeah, well, it just looks like De Bruyne. De Bruyne, De Bruyne's a robot. He's a football yeah, robot. But, but it doesn't matter what. Yeah, Koscielny done the right thing by shot him onto his left foot. It's just like he's just that good that he scored from there. I was gonna get uh, Lacazette scored a, a, a very good goal when he came on. First touch, m- more or less. The penalty I thought was a bit soft. Yeah, it, but he was the wrong it side. Is, it is what it is. Like if it's the wrong if, side. If you get in behind and you're trying to, yeah, you're tracking back and you're just on that side of them. Any sort of contact, the ref's gonna give it. Yeah, uh, especially the home team. You know what I mean? And it's Man City. Um, the one thing that's annoying me is how. How much we just capitulated after the goal went in? Like we set up really well. Like we yeah, had four at the back, which I thought. Yeah, but oh, his overall play. He he was he was a pussy man. He was just shrugged off the ball at every opportunity. Sanchez had a great game with his new teammates, like passing the ball lovely to them. Like everything Sanchez did, he just it was just going wrong. He couldn't keep the ball. Um, Ozil as well I think Ozil at least tried to get into the game he tried to make things happen but when it didn't go his way it was Ozil first time for everything nose in the air you know classic Ozil we're used to see and it, it literally was like it was a carbon copy of, when, of the times we got to City before Yeah, we started off well goal goes in we capitulate stand off City I don't know why we stood off them and City, like, City did not play spectacular football we gifted them a penalty uh, the offside, yeah, fair enough. That was it. Was offside, but sure. Look, when, all Wenger has is the olive branch of refereeing decisions. That's all he has. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I would rather I David th- Silva th- took it around ten of our players and score just so he doesn't have that excuse. Do you know what I mean? But he was right in what he said. Um, I thought he was a bit harsh on on Sterling. 
<laughs> he goes, uh, what did he say? Well, he likes diving, so and he's very good at it. <laughs> said that after the game. I thought it was quite funny, though, in fairness, but Alan Shearer's got mad about it. Uh, yeah. Um, Fuck off, Alan. But yeah, I suppose it, it kind of. I said the test was Man City to go there and get a result or get a performance at least. Failed. Same old last night. But I think at two one and he's were he's were coming back into the game. Oh yeah. And yeah. then the goal kind of kills us yeah. off. So I, I do see where Wenger's coming from in that sense. And um, I don't well, I, I don't know. I got in maybe. I will say one thing. Okay. We've played. Three at the back, every game this season. I've watched every Arsenal game this season. Three at the back. Yeah, but you said Cochrane playing at the back. Oh, no, we had in front. We had a back four, basically. Cochrane was playing as kind of an anchor. Okay, yeah. Now, Cochrane was muck. Like, he, Cochrane can't pass well. Cochrane should go back to Charlton. I'm done with Cochrane. Like, uh, but we basically, we play with a back four against City just mm. so we're not giving the ball away in midfield. And stuff. Still gave the ball away in midfield. He basically showed that he has no faith in that three five two system. We went to Chelsea, played three five two, pressed them high up the field, and we played Chelsea off the pitch. But like we, it's just it's like we have Napoleon syndrome or something against Man City. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Why the first ten minutes we did that, then we you know stand off the Brian, the Brian gets a goal, and then it's just how are you doing? We're Arsenal, and that's. But it. a lot of team are gonna fall against City this season, so. Yeah, um, well, it's, yeah, City. So they seem to be. But City, no one can beat them. <laughs> City aren't going to be derailed anytime soon. Yeah. So it yeah. it is what it is like, but I just would like to see just stand up and be counted, just play like men. Do you know what I mean? That's it. If you have to get physical, if you have to switch it up and play fucking re one, do it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? They don't have to play it's just yeah, it's just hard. It's just it's just shocking watching that every week. Do you know what I mean? Do you mean everything? <laughs> But uh, yeah, rant done. We, I suppose we move on. We move on to everything. We yes. Talk, we talk about it. Um, Nias, legend. Savior gets him going again. He scores the most scrappiest goals ever. Like he doesn't. Like he's the most shocking footballer ever. <laughs> but he scores goals, and he's, he's a bit like Danny Welbeck. He just gets these real awkward goals. He's like he's like, he's, a, he's a poor man, Danny Welbeck. But look. He's getting in. He's getting goals. He's making things happen without him. Without him driving at like defenses and making them worry, you know, we probably would have lost that game. And he gets us the goal, and it's some scrappy goal. He falls over and hits the net <laughs> and goes in the goes in the net. It's just oh my god. But uh, I mean, Watford to their credit, two very good goals he scored. Yeah. And you know, Richardson again. I wasn't expecting us to get anything from the game beforehand to be honest with you I seen it was 2-0 I was just like I remember actually I was up with you uh, in your work and I was just like oh, 2-0 huh? great here we go again and then uh, <laughs> I checked my, I checked my score and uh, next one I just seen 3-2 and it was in like the yeah. 97th minute and then I was like why what, like what's going on but Gomez had, had got a cut on his head yeah, yeah. and it, it kept the, the time going yeah and uh, yeah then it uh, um, Unsworth makes some substitutions. Uh, take Wayne Rooney off, and then uh, Calvert Lewin scores a header. Batman, and then uh, what a lovely guy, Leighton Baines just pops up. Yeah. Uh, great penalty, as usual, Mister Reliable, and uh, Tom Cleverley once a blue, always a blue. Uh, just decided to miss the penalty on purpose. Where is a brown envelope under the table or something? Yeah, but uh, Jesus, Goodison was rocking. That, that atmosphere like, yeah that's, that's, the, and that's the way it should be and, and, and I like the way Unsworth comes out and the way he talks about the club and, and how he likes the fans to do this and likes the fans to do that and said whatever happens he'll shake if he doesn't stay on he'll shake whoever it is hands because he wants what's best for the club that's good to hear like I, that performance there would you would you give him a chance to I, I, I'd say I'd give him a chance yeah. but then the, the <clears throat> result against you guys 5-2 and then the results in Europe kind of had me swayed and there was a big issue with Morales and uh, Schneiderlin Duncan Ferguson was taking a training session and uh, they weren't putting any effort in and uh, he said if you're not going to try anymore you can both leave so they are both out of the squad so I think they'll be shipped off yeah. I suppose the big name being linked with the job Sean Deutsch uh, doing fantastic with Burnley they got another win there but um, 
like would would if you see if you see kind of the the camaraderie he's built with that group of players, would you want that at Everton? Might with, not be the Deutsch. best with Deutsch. Yeah, might not be the best brand of football, but no. Um, like I'd rather I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather Allardyce than Deutsch because I heard actually, um, allegedly in talks with him. So yeah, well, I'd say give him ones with a couple more games to see how he does, but uh, for now, and then see who might become available throughout the season. We'll see, but. Deutsch, no. I wouldn't like to see him come to Everton simply for the reason is that he's doing such a good job at Burnley. I'd like to see how far he could take them. Yeah, true, and, true. Um, yeah, you wouldn't like kind of to see Burnley kind of fall off if he does go. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, and we'll, we'll get into Burnley in a couple of minutes, but um, with himself, I can only see him at Everton for a short-term solution. I can't see right, yeah. couldn't, No, oh, no, sorry, sorry. Deutsch. So I couldn't see... Um, him in, the, him in the long run so I'd rather see him at Burnley do well there see what he can do and, and see how far he takes him do you know what I mean could be like Moyes and Everton do you know what I mean yeah yeah, no, and, yeah he's getting the best out of those Irish players so um, yeah I suppose that's, that's what we all the, the step up might kill him a bit like him and not even that I, I, like, I'd rather him say Burnley for the, for the sake of uh, our Irish players but sure anyway uh, great result get in and uh, I'll stick with Unser for now yeah, cool. So uh, we'll get into some of the Saturday games anyway. Um, Stoke Leicester, it's a great game. Uh, fast pace attacking, attacking football. There, uh, Demari Gray looked looked superb, and Mares kind of looked like he's getting back to his old self. Demari Gray is quality. He killed Everton the week. Yeah, he's like uh, a classic winger. Do you know they're kind of yeah. they're kind of missing that in today's game. He's just got loads of bags and bags of pace, and yeah. Um, yeah. I'd say with Mara's the goal kind of showed he's he's Great starting finish. to look like uh, his old self, and uh, maybe that helps having a French speaking manager playing with him or managing. Him. Maybe yeah, maybe. Good do and uh, Stoke. Well, it's one day isn't it with Stoke? I mean, one week they'll come out and get hammered, the other week they'll come out and score goals. I mean, Shakiri and Crouch both get on the score sheet. Uh, Great ball by uh, Chupa Mote as well. Yeah, really good. Great finish by Shakiri and Ferris. Yeah. I love, I love uh, opening the body. I know, uh, you know, all right, Pete Crouch, you know, just, yeah. he's great header. He's, he's, he's a good lad. He broke another record for scoring headers in the Premier League, isn't he? Something like that. Or he added to it. Uh, yeah, fair play to Crouch, he's, a, he's an absolute legend. There's a bit of, yeah, there was a bit of, uh, I don't know, it was Tony Cheek about him getting recalled to the England squad like at 36. That'd be nice. I, I'd like to see that. He had a very good England record. I don't know. No, nah, Crouch. Crouch has been a great striker. He's been a great striker. Like a great target, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, he got, but he got goals, and he was kind of he was deceptive. He, he was deceptively skillful as well. Yeah. That goal he scored against the volley. Remember the Boise for Liverpool as well. Like he had, he had that in his locker. Like, yeah, just, suppose yeah. uh, moving on. Longest leg ever. We talk. Um, we talk Huddersfield. Huddersfield West Brom. One 0 Bit of controversy with uh, James McLean. Yeah, he was not a happy boy on that uh, Twitter, was he? No. <laughs> I'm sure it's that time of year, controversial James McLean time. Yeah, uh, copy and all that. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, match of the day, we're going mad, but we get a yellow card, and, and yeah. uh, he tweeted saying, "It's it's funny how they are convenient that they focus on that, but they don't focus on the bottles and and, and everything that." Yeah, yeah. I tried to look out for it when I was watching. I couldn't see it, so it might have been skillfully edited, but who knows? Yeah, well, wasn't me. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, look, look. We all know how we all feel in Ireland about the poppy and whatever. McLean more so. Yeah, it's a bit different Derry. for him. Yeah. The other lads in the squad will wear it. Coleman will wear it. Uh, Brady and all the lads. Brady will wear it. They just get on with it. And they just kind of. But it is McLean's made his feelings yeah. now, and I respect that. We were only talking about it last week, but I respect it. Like he came out and he's like, he's, he's explained why, but the the fans just don't want to accept his reasons. Oh, like, they never. They're not. They they they, they probably they didn't understand read it. it. They probably didn't understand. even read it. But, but he does. He does. He he is a bit of a heel figure. Like he is kind of a player. English fans love to hate Look, and love to give stick. You know. If you nice your team, you should be a fully one hundred percent. I'm sure the West Brom fans are. I don't think all of them are. Yeah. yeah okay. But fair enough. So um. Fuck them, yeah. <laughs> we move on to uh, Brighton Swansea Jimmy Mack we're with you mate we're with you Jimmy obviously uh, 
So Brighton Swansea, uh, another good performance by uh, Shane Duffy at the back. Yeah, he's, he's coming into a serious good, bit of good form. Good for us, international week. Since the Wales game, he's just week in, week out, he's been unreal. Yeah, yeah. And um, Glenn Murray, four goals now. Yeah. Prolific, some might say. Golden boot nominee. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, again, Glenn Murray, he never really got a chance in any other club he was really with and when he did I think he had a he did alright at Palace he did yeah but that wasn't the championship getting them up yeah I think anyway uh, but look fair play to he's scoring the goals he's getting the service Steve's made Pascal Gross Gross uh, he's going to get snapped up he's taken Oslo's crown for assist king yeah he, he will be snapped up by a bigger club uh, next year but Izquierdo as well Izquierdo looks to be creating as well mm. um, got a nice goal against West Ham last week our, uh, would you say Swansea are another doom site I'd say that'd be my tour pick for relegation <laughs> after everything uh, <laughs> I think I think Everton have a bit more a bit more fight yeah, yeah, I know I'm only, I'm only joking but I'm not too confident but look uh, Swansea I don't think they're as bad as people make them out to be I have a mate a coach over in Canada with, and he was like, calling for Clement's head and all this and I was just like, oh, like he's a lost your best player what did you expect you to sign Wilfie, Wilfie Bonnie he hasn't played he hasn't in about two seasons some goals for Swansea yeah. Yeah. and no one's gone well blah, blah, blah. but uh, look I don't know what Swansea fans want do you know what I mean they, they're still they, trying they, to play their, stu- their brand they've been punching above their weight for a long time do the IU brothers just ruin any club they go to? They seem to be just they go to a club, oh, the club are in a relegation but <coughs> Ah well look. I don't think they're I think they're that they're in for a tough season. Whether they get relegated or not, I think it's a bit early. Yeah. It's a bit it's a bit premature. It might be a bit premature, yeah. I yeah. I think I'd I'd say they'd probably be my pick though. Yeah. Anyway, we'll move I just like on. Kids, I mean, it kids. is nice, yeah. So we'll, uh, I suppose we'll move on to Burnley then. Burnley for Europe, it's looking like. Go the lads. Nice, another 1-0 win. Uh, I looked at the Masters. Yeah, that's it. Like, if and doubt, go route one. Put well, that's in. the thing, look. Uh, <clears throat> if it works, it works. It's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, again, look, delighted for the Irish lads. Burnley, anybody's Irish, wants to see them do well, unless they follow a rival club. I don't even know they're rifle Blackburn or something. But anyway, uh, the lads are doing well, as well as like Shane Duffy from Brighton. Everyone's getting good form. Yeah, at the Jeff right Hendricks time. bang on form. It's, yeah. it's great for us anyway. Robbie Brady. They're all playing with small in the face. Robbie Brady, yeah, before the goal was looking to create, he was he was getting on the ball, he was making things happen. Um, as usual. Yeah, absolutely. Um one person we have to if we're talking about Bernie, we have to talk about Nick Pope. Yeah. You want to hire on about each? Do you know what I mean? Papal infallibility can't get through, can't do any wrong. Yeah, uh, fair play to him since uh, Tom Heat got injured. He's he's been phenomenal. Would, um, would you say Tom Heat like when Tom Heat fit? He, I, t- I don't think he deserves to get back in that team. He wouldn't man. be justified now, but no. uh, look, Sean Dyes is only going to have a selection headache. That can only be good for Burnley. So. That's it, and you know Arsenal. Possibly in the market for a goalkeeper. You never know. They probably saw a Tom Heaton. <laughs> <laughs> An injured Tom Heaton. Is that you? Is that all the games then? No. One more. Uh, we oh, the most boring game. Yeah. Newcastle and Bournemouth. Last but not least. Bournemouth out of the relegation. I'd spend like 30 seconds on this because that's all it deserves. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. It was a bit of a snails fest. What was it? Last minute goal by yeah, Cook. Cook, bang. Bob Elliott actually... Speaking of Irish player, he was brilliant. He made, he made yeah. some unreal saves. Yeah, there was one going back. He held it. Over. Yeah. He held it as well. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, no, one's over the bar, yeah, but then there was one he was uh, going in and he actually held it. Like, he held it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's class. <coughs> like, really uh, good. Again, wouldn't interfere with Randolph, but uh, he's definitely... He's, after not, the, after he's, kicking the, he's kicking the door, isn't he? He's not after the playoffs, there. I'd be looking at getting him in for Freddy's to see how he does. And if we get to the World Cup, he would, he'd, he'd be in with a shout then, definitely, if he has a good season with Newcastle. Um, as for Newcastle, up and down results. I mean, they're yeah. most, the most inconsistent. They'll team. win one week, lose three. 
win yeah. two. It's they're still mid table. So they're not going to get relegated, but they, no, they're just. No, I think they'll be safe this in the mid table finish. Yeah. Like they're unlucky if it's Dwight Gall should not should not have gone this level. Dwight Gall, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was given off sorry, came off the post and he was on side score. He, ju- he just can't cut out in Premier League, can he? Yeah. Look, anyway, we talk. I suppose we need to mention Bournemouth out of the drop zone. Uh, Seem to be kind of putting a few results together. Yeah, yeah. Look, um, I still think they're in danger. Uh, their teams, it's the same players over and over again. Like they never, they don't really buy that many players, and they don't. As good as the foe was, he, he's declining, and yeah, they need to start buying in January if they want to do anything. I believe, and that's all I really have to say about them because. Besides Harry Arthur, I just don't have any real time for them. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that. That was our Premier League roundup. You are watching Irish Football Fan TV. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm aiming for that 1,000 subscribers for Christmas. Christmas. Share it with your friends if you can. Please, thank you.